Hey guys, quick sense here. Um, I've got um, a tutorial for you today, and it's something which will help you out a lot if you do graphics or intros, stuff like that. And it's how to lower the rendering time in Cinema 4D. And I know you can do this in any versions, and um, it won't affect the quality one single bit through my previous experiences myself. And um, also, let's get started. All I have to do is just go to this button here. And this is just your render settings, and then you just got to save and uh, make sure you're on QuickTime Movie or AVI Movie if you don't have QuickTime, and um, just choose where you want to save it, and then you want to go to anti-aliasing and have the um, anti-aliasing on best, not geometry, and um, you want to go to options, and then you want to have your ray depth on to six. And have your reflection depth on two, and then you want to have your shadow depth on six. And I may think that this may affect the quality of the shadows or anything, but through my past experience, it hasn't. And if you want, um, if you put effects on it, it does add a lot of time onto the rendering, um, <laughs> or ages, especially global illumination. So if you haven't got the best of computers, I won't advise adding any effects on. But if you want to, yeah, go for it. Um, yeah, and um, well, before I use these settings, it um one of my one of my intros which I've made um crap um no um one of the intros which I've made um took me about fourteen hours to render, which is quite a pain in the ass, and then I realised that I'd done it wrong, <laughs> uh, and um so I was a bit annoyed, so I've tried these settings, and um it took me about an hour at the most so yeah it does help and it doesn't really affect the quality at all so yeah um hope this tutorial helped and um, subscribe like and favorite the video cheers in a bit